Welcome to Leximation University. My name is Scott Prentice, and today I'm going to walk you through the complete process of installing DITA FMX on FrameMaker 8. DITA FMX can also be installed on FrameMaker versions 7.2 and 9, where the installation process is very similar to what you'll see here. This demo is presented on Windows XP. If you're installing on Vista or Windows 7, please refer to the documentation for additional information. The installer is provided in a zip archive and can be downloaded from Leximation.com. Most archive programs will let you double-click the zip file, then double-click the installer executable to start the installation process. The installer provides the necessary information for installing on each FrameMaker version. Be sure to read this information carefully. Select the appropriate options and complete the installation process. At the end of the installation, you can view the online help. This documentation is also available from the Leximation website. After the initial installation is complete, open Windows Explorer and go to the main FrameMaker installation folder you'll see the new DITA FMX folder which contains all of the support files. Go back to the main FrameMaker folder and locate the maker.ini file. Open this file in Notepad and locate the API Clients section. At the end of the API Clients section, you'll see two entries that begin with DITA FM and one labeled DITA Book. You'll need to comment these lines out by placing a semicolon at the beginning of each one. Note that the DITA Book entry isn't found in a frame 9 maker.ini file. You should also see two DITA FMX entries, which were added by the installer. These should be left alone. When you're done editing, save and close the maker.ini file. Now go back to the DITA FMX folder and copy the DITA FMX 1.1 apps zip file into the structure slash XML folder. Once you've copied the zip file into the structure XML folder, extract the contents of that zip archive into the folder to create a DITA FMX 1.1 folder. This contains the three default structure applications, book, map, and topic. Now launch FrameMaker so you can install the three structure applications. When FrameMaker starts, you should see the new DITA FMX menu. If you're not seeing it, check the Preferences dialog to make sure that you've got the Structured Interface enabled. To install the Structure Applications, select Edit Application Definitions on the Structure Tools menu to open the Application Definitions file. Open the Structure View window and place your insertion point after the Version element, then choose File Import File and locate the DITA FMX Book Application folder then select the struct apps stub file. Accept the defaults in the import dialog and choose import. Now repeat this process for the map application. Place the insertion point after the version element, choose file import file, locate the map application folder and select the stub file, then import. and once more for the topic application. Now save the struct apps file 
and choose Read Application Definitions from the Structure Tools menu, then close the StructApps file. To enable Dita FMX, you need to enter an authorization code. For the 30-day trial, just choose the Try Now item from the Dita FMX menu. This takes you to the Leximation website, where you enter your email address and the trial authorization code is sent to you right away. Copy the auth code from the email and paste it into the Dita FMX tool authorization dialog. At this point, the items on the Dita FMX menu should be enabled. Run the Options command to ensure that the structure applications are set to properly point at the right apps. Information on all of the settings in the Options dialog is available by choosing the Help button. You can do a quick test of the system by creating a new Dita topic. Choose New Topic from the New Dita File menu. In the new Dita file dialog, enter the topic title. Note the file name is created automatically. Specify the folder for the new file by selecting it from the drop list or use the browse button to locate a new folder. The new topic is created and opened with the proper title. Open the structure view window and place the insertion point after the title element. Open the element catalog and choose the body element. This automatically inserts the initial P element so you can start typing right away. This completes the installation of Dita FMX. Thank you for watching this video. Please visit leximation.com for additional videos and information.